Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a Get Ready With Me featuring the Ace Beauté palette that we got in February's Ipsy. I'm trying out kind of a lot of new fun stuff, well new to me fun stuff, but also kind of chatting about some project pan items and using those as well. So it's kind of going to be um, a little bit of a mixed bag. But yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, be sure to stay tuned. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, if you like the video, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we're just gonna start with a little bit of lip oil. If you're curious, that is what's going on with my Dior one. We're almost there. I will not be taking the stopper out. As soon as there's no more product free flowing, I'm done with it. When and if that day were, will ever come though, I, I don't know. I'm just going to set my, set my eyelids, geez. This is gonna be a long video, I can already tell. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to get it started. That looks fairly even. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're gonna use the Mystic Romance palette from Ace Beauté. This was in the Ipsy variation that we got in February. This will be my third look with the palette, so I have like a pretty good grasp on how I'm feeling with it. I'm wearing this shirt, and I was thinking about like tying some red in with it, but I've already done a red look so that makes me not want to use it i'm thinking i want to do maybe something with this like fog shade here and maybe enchantment so stick kind of with some deeper tones i think that could be really pretty so yeah let's just get into it i'm gonna set my whole lid down. I'm not prepared for this video. I don't have my brushes all out. So I'm gonna use the shade Sacred here and I'm gonna just set down my lid. If you can hear my dog eating, sorry. <laughs> I'm just glad. Oh no, that's my mom's dog. I was like, yes, Tito's eating. He's weird about eating sometimes. So I was like excited, but it's not even him. So, okay. All right, now I'm gonna straight up just go into this fog shade right here. This brush has been like cleaned out or whatever, but um, had some dark shadow on it. So that's why it looks that way. But also I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it for this. I think, I'm pretty sure I've used this shade before in another look. I'm gonna post all three of them on Instagram with the, um, shade like names and variations and whatnot so if you're interested to see more looks with this palette then that's where they will be if i'm being honest it'll probably go i'll probably post that the same day that i upload this get ready with me this purple tone is so pretty this palette as you saw is like pretty deep which I mean I like they're a small black owned brand so you're gonna be able to get more depth out of the shadows but also so far they seem to be versatile enough to use on like fair and light skin so I love that but yeah these are pigmented but as you can see, like they, they blend out really nice, not having any issues and it's like a deep shade. So I'm going to just like kind of pack it on the lid right here and then blend that out. So I'm going to do like shimmer and another deep shade on the outer corner. So I'll probably go back in with this at some point just to fluff up that transition area. Now I'm going to go in, I think, with the shade, 
I was kind of between this like brown one and the black one, but I think since I have so much black on, I think that the black would just match better. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm very particular about blacks. Blacks can be hard. So if we don't like it, then uh, I will just be taking it off because going to a concert tonight so I want my makeup to look nice. Ooh, which maybe I'll put on some gems just for fun if I have time. We're going to see Neck Deep. I'm freaking pumped. I have not seen them since like, it was like 2017. But like they also, they don't come to the States that often. So when they announced that they would be here, I was like, mm, yep, I'll be there. Even though it's on a Sunday, I just decided to take Monday off and we're gonna go, it's in Chicago, so we're gonna go and stay with my brother. He has Monday off, so we're gonna go get like breakfast and go to the gym and just kind of hang out. We're gonna go to a coffee shop and read. He's doing some additional like schooling. So he's working on all of that, but I'm, I don't know, I'm excited. I think that it'll be fun. Um, so like clearly there's fallout, but that's okay. The black seems to be maintaining like a, a nice amount of pigmentation. Sometimes with blacks, they um, <clears throat> will like fade or get that blue color. I'm gonna just go in with the brush that I used for the purple and I'm just going back around the outside here just to blend it a little bit. So we'll, I'll see how it holds up throughout the night but so far it seems to be looking pretty good which I do my eyes first always so I don't really care that there's fallout all over my face. But if you don't do your eyes first, I can see where you would be a alarmed. In terms, what? Hmm. So shimmers, I've used this shimmer, this shimmer, this shimmer. I've swatched this one, which might look pretty with this look. This purple. Oof. And this one, which is like, ooh, that one's pretty. Hmm, what if we used, man, I'm so torn between this one and this one. I want to be like, what do you guys think? But obviously by the time you give your opinion, this will be up. <laughs> I'm like, help. Um, this just has a really unique tone. I think I'm going to go in with this one, which is the shade Spellbound. So I'm going to go in with my next glitter primer. I definitely recommend applying this whenever you're doing any kind of shimmer. It just like really locks it in and holds it into place really well. And I don't know, in my opinion, just helps elongate the wear time in general. So it's a product that I use all the time and it lasts forever. Like I've been using this product. Well, when did I, I picked it up on someone's recommendation probably in like 2020 and this is only my second tube of it so it lasts a really long time um which I can appreciate I mean the shelf life is six months but I didn't have any like issues with my last one or anything like that so I'm assuming it's fine so I'm gonna just take my like paddle bar blah, 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 paddle brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade here, which is Spellbound. You know, I'm gonna just, it has kind of like a maroon undertone. I don't know. It's like very different, like a plum, like a purple and a red, really pretty. I think it would pair really nicely with this row, which maybe that was like the intent, but yeah, it looks very nice, I I think anyways. Brings out 
some more color. And then maybe I'll take some of the sparkly purple and like top it on the middle and put it in the uh, inner corner. I've really been into a more highlighted center lately. I don't I don't know why. I've just kind of been getting back into that. So the shade I'm talking about right here is Starry and I used it before. <laughs> And it's gorgeous. Um, I think that it would pair really nicely and bring a little bit of light back to the eye. So I'm gonna just rub in it a little bit with my finger here and just tap that on the center. And this shade is like has like bigger sparkle chunks, which I think are pretty. I don't mind them at all. So I'm gonna just tap that in there. I think we will do use a different shade for the inner corner though. I don't think that that is gonna be light enough. It looks like lighter in the pan than it is when I get it like swatched and on. Oh yeah, I think that's looking very pretty though. Oh yeah. And then what I typically do is after I put on my shimmer, I usually go back in with whatever that outer corner shade was, which in this case is the black. And I just tap a little bit over and around here to make sure we still have that like filled in and we didn't rub any of it off, which really didn't have that issue at all. So that is really nice. I am going to just clean up my under eyes and then I'll be back and we can start working on the base. All right, so for primer, I am feeling like a little bit dry today. So I'm gonna use the Smashbox Primerizer and Hydrating Primer. This isn't one I use that often. But I was like, mm, I'm feeling kind of kind of dry, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to use it. I did my skincare like hours ago. And I thought about, I was like, well, maybe I should just re-moisturize, but here we are. So I'm putting a little bit of that on and I'm gonna just give it like a second. And then I'm gonna layer a tad of the Smashbox Photo Finish. This one is the pore filler. And I'm just gonna put it on like right in here where my pores are pretty big and my nose. I don't wanna get like too many layers going, but I do want some, you know, pore correction going on. <laughs> All right, next I'm gonna just go into my Huda Faux Filter Corrector. I have the shade Peach. I'm actually, I feel like this has to be getting so close to empty. I really want to take the stopper out and just like peek just to see, but like also I have been like kind of traveling a lot with my makeup and I have to have that. It's my only corrector, it's my favorite corrector. And I don't want to take the stop route because I feel like it would be very messy to travel with a product that doesn't have a stopper in it. So I'm, I'm resisting right now, but know that it is hard. It is very difficult. I'm struggling. For foundation, I've just been using like a lot of what's in my current makeup basket. So I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator and I'm mixing it with the uh, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I'm actually making quite a bit of progress on this tint. I think that if, well, depending on how much I can continue to use it, I think it's something that I might low key finish here in the next like month or two. Cause I rotated my KVD foundation out because I it's all I wanted to use but also it was just like a smidge deep for me right now so I was like let's use my 
lighter base products while it's winter time. <laughs> so I rotated it out and I've been just using these two and I really enjoy both of them separately and together, but shade wise, they just do better right now together. But yeah, that's essentially what I've been doing. But I was like, that's exciting to think that I could potentially empty that soon because that tent is, um, I think, yeah, the oldest like foundation slash base product in my collection right now. It wasn't opened until recently, but it was still older. And as we discovered in my end of the year declutter, products don't have to be open to expire. They can still be old and go bad even if they are unopened. So I really wanted to start just incorporating that so I could get some use out of it because I love it. It just like wasn't a good shade and then I kind of forgot about it and then now it's not a good shade, but I was like, I have a foundation that's too light for me, so perfect. But yeah, I would love to get that one finished up. It'll probably be like, honestly, it'll be a low key focus. I'm gonna upload my first project pan update at the end of, what, at the end of March, I believe. So um, hopefully by then I'll have a better idea on where it's at. And I will potentially officially rotate it in, just depending on where I am progress-wise with that product and all my other products. But like, I've clearly been using it. Okay, I think that looks really nice. I'm very pleased with the coverage, the coverage level. I'm still using my same two concealers for the most part, the um, Huda Faux Filter and 2.1N. I still feel like there's probably quite a bit of this left because even though I've been using it a lot, I don't use a lot of it because I just dab it right in there. It's very <clears throat> light and brightening. And then it just mixes well with my hourglass one that's like not super brightening right now. And like, I'm making really nice progress on this. As you can see, like starting to really see the sides of it. It's another product that I'm getting like antsy curious about to see what's going on with it in there. But again, it's one that I often travel with. So I don't want the mess of not having a stopper in it, but the curiosity is driving me insane. <laughs> and it is my oldest concealer. So I'm honestly excited to finish it. I have quite a lot of concealers open right now so I will probably rotate to when that one's gone I'm still using the Huda one on the inner corner and then I'll probably rotate in one that's like because that's like my lightest shade and then I have two summer shades and I have two that like are kind of mm, right now so I'll probably rotate the older one of that and I think it's the tart creamy one and I'll be mixing those two and I think that that's like what I'm what I'm gonna do next for bronzer this is a little bit different so I have been reaching for my Huda Beauty or it's glowish but it's by Huda Beauty I had depotted it into this uh quad and it's a powdered bronzer which like I don't really use powdered products but like I do like this one and it's one that I've been kind of low-key focusing on. I would like to finish it by the end of the year, minimum. But I think that, because I don't want to put any pressure on myself, or at least not right now. But I would like to finish it by the end of the year at, like, the latest. But I think that I could finish it up in a couple months if I'm, like, mindful to use it, like you know, frequently when I'm doing my makeup. So 
we'll see. I'm just like, this is a nice one, but overall, like, I'm just like not a powdered girly. <sighs> I just think that cream is so superior and that's like what I prefer. So I think I'm gonna just finish this up and then I will probably honestly declutter the rest of this palette just because the bronzer is like too deep for me. I have to go in with a super light hand. I don't really love powder, so I don't want to deal with it. And then the highlighter is also too dark for me. I can make it work during certain times of the year and whatnot, but like for someone who like kind of has to be mindful to wear their um, highlighter, I just don't really feel like I need it. Like potentially someone else can use it or it'll just, you know, not be wasting away here. But yeah, I think if I use it consistently, I can get it moving. There's not like, there's not really a ton left, which is exciting. But it also, like I said, I just don't want to feel like pressured. Like I have to use it every time I do my makeup so I can finish it by X, Y, and Z. Because I don't know, I've had, <clears throat> I've been in project panning for a long time and sometimes it can just get that way. And it's not even that anyone else is putting pressure on you, but you're just like putting that pressure on yourself for some reason. So I'm like, I don't really know. But yeah, that's like kind of what I'm thinking. I also started using, I know I've been working on the Danessa sample card that was in my, um, last video my last makeup basket and like project painting like that's one that I'm working on the shade I have open right now is tutu which is very like pink and bright and like normally I don't like this kind of a shade on myself but I used it the other day and I'm low-key like really loving it so like I said it's like really bright but I just take it on my brush and really like spread it around like really spread it around on my hand. And then I went in with it just like really lightly and kind of like build it up a little bit as well. And I loved the way that it looked. So I was like, man, I wanna play with it just like a little bit more. And I was like, I could see myself maybe like adding this to my wish list. And I don't know what it is because I've tried shades that are really bright in tone before and I just don't like them on myself. So I don't know if it's the difference in like the way this formulation looks and lays on my skin or what. But I'm like really liking it. It honestly, it's on sale right now at Sephora and it's taking like all that I have to not buy it. But I'm like, it's only six dollars off so like it's not an insane sale like i'll be fine if i want to pick it up later i can spend the extra like six dollars or whatever so i'm just trying to be like chill about it but like dang i think it's like so pretty so pretty i'm gonna dab it on my nose a little bit mm. and then i'll it might look a little scary right now, but like we have a couple other steps that'll usually help like tone it down a little bit. Like I'm going to go in with my Huda Easy Bake Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom. I'm going to set my under eyes. So I'm going to just tap out some of these lines. And the nice thing I found about these Vision blushes is that when I top it back over this powder, it lays nice over the powder. Like it doesn't disrupt what's going on. I got the powder kind of thick over here though, so I will brush that a little bit. I was like, bam. But um, so it does like a really good job at playing with it, which I appreciate because I, I don't want to like set down my concealer until I've got the majority of my other products on because I use creams usually, like all creams. So I'm like, meh. 
And then since I am gonna be doing like <clears throat> in a crowd, probably sweating and I'll have my makeup on for a while, I'm gonna dip into my translucent one, which this is the shade Sugar Cookie. And I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna put all over my, like all over. So, well mostly in my like problem areas, but I'll stamp it elsewhere too. And like when I powder over it and stuff like that also kind of helps tone down the, um, brightness you can also always take like your beauty blender and you can go over stuff like there's so many different ways you can tone down a shadow of like or a shade of like blush or bronzer if you're like oh whoa what did uh what did I get myself into like you can always just adjust it so don't fret. I'm gonna dust and see kind of what we're working with under here. And then I use like a fluffier one to like brush some of this off, which I'll use. I like to use a fluffier one to just like dust that stuff under my neck that I did. Cause we want that to also stay in place, but yeah, I just think this looks all look so pretty. And then I take like that <clears throat> brush and I just like kind of pop it back, back over like in the area that kind of went off when we retapped the concealer. I think that looks like pretty nice. So I went in a little hard up here, but it's okay. Cause realistically my hair is going to be like this. And I think that'll look, Ooh, I just about whipped my hair through it. <laughs> that would have sucked. Um, but yeah, so I think that overall that looks nice. You always too can fix it like with your sponge. If I would have went in like before I set, I could have done some things with my sponge and it would have looked nice. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Some, I'm like vibing with this tone right now. Now I'm gonna wipe this off my hand now that I'm sure that I'm done with it. Okay, so I had some guests arrive, so I had to take a second. Um, but yeah, I'll, all, <clears throat> all I did was I just put like a little bit of brow gel in my brows so that can start setting. Then I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona face palette. This one is the light one. And why is it so slippery right now? So I rolled this into my basket so I could focus on it. I'm trying to get more use out of my highlighters as a whole. And it has like a little little tiny baby dip so that's fun i'm gonna just and this one is like sparkly like very sparkly um so if you don't like that which is not really something i go for but like it came in the palette so like here we are and if you're thinking that my under eyes look very powdered they do but the thing is that this will like sink in throughout the day and it'll look, it'll look nicer. It just needs like a little, little time to adjust. Um, I am gonna leave this out because I'm gonna use it on my brow bone, but now I'm gonna dip back into my Ace palette and I'm gonna do my lower lash line. And I'm gonna, I should probably use the black, but I'm kind of, worried because obviously like there was fallout when we used it last time so I'm gonna just like I went into it but I'm gonna like bang the crap out of the brush so hopefully we don't get any fallout so I just tap it on really lightly because even though this powder makes it like fairly easy to clean up any kind of like fallout from your shadow. Black is just hard to clean up regardless. So 
I just, I'm gonna try to avoid that as a whole. And just be careful with it. I think that looks pretty good. Held up pretty good. We made it. <laughs> I was literally like, I was nervous about that. Um, then I'm gonna just go in and do my waterline. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty coal black or cream coal in the shade of black. This just stays on the waterline. So well. All right, now that we got that, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Sex Kitten liner. This is um, a felt tip. And I'm gonna do my wing. Right now, I'm gonna just fill in my brows with the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift. This one, oh, this is my lighter one. I've been trying out a darker shade. I typically use um, neutral brown, but I have some of the deep brown and I feel like it looks okay when I use it. Like, so I've been incorporating it, rotating it in, I guess is a better word. Cause I don't, especially when I wear dark, like dark eye looks like this, I feel like it looks perfectly fine. Like not too deep, not too cool. So I've been trying to be mindful cause I had one that I opened. Um, cause I used to use this shade actually when my hair was like really dark, my roots were super dark. And then I had like one left over and I opened it when my brother was here because he needed to fill his brows and his are darker than mine. So I was like, well, I really need to pull it out and like use it then because it's open. And then my cousin was like, I'm not really filling my brows anymore. And she's like, I know you like this because I bought it on your recommendation. So she was like, if you'll use this shade, like, you can have mine, so she brought me two of them. And yeah, I think that it works fine. Like, I think it looks nice. It doesn't, I don't think it looks too dark. Yeah, I like literally just trimmed my brows today. So I'm like, they look nicer than usual. Thankfully they were driving me insane and it looks like i missed one little guy right there that i'm gonna pluck really quick all right now that i have that done i'm gonna dip back into my highlighter like i mentioned and i'm gonna go in with like a more dense brush and i'm gonna just pop a little bit right there on the brow bone just to create a little bit of a highlight that looks nice I'm also gonna reach into another palette uh, you can tell I actually have time to just like do my makeup and make it look pretty and I'm gonna pop an inner corner in and I'm thinking I'm gonna use the Huda Mercury retrograde I'm gonna go in with the shade super moon I think that'll be really pretty it'll play with like some of the iridescence on my lid and I'm gonna just go in and pop this it's brightening but it also has like some of those really fun shifts yeah that i think are gonna just look really pretty yeah i think that looks nice it really pulls like the purple out of the look I had a smidge of fallout right there but i'm gonna just brush it away yeah see super easy to clean up I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I still might do like a gem or two, but I feel like you don't really get the full effect and like shape of your eye, what's gonna be going on until your mascara is on. So I'm gonna pop that on really quick. I'm just using the By Beauty mascara. This one is unfortunately discontinued, but I panic bought a lot of them, so I have a few left. 
All right, we'll see how this goes. I pulled out some gems. I got these from Amazon. They're just, I don't know, you can search like eye gems or whatever. I don't have any of the glue I used to use for them anymore, but I do have some lash glue from Doe Beauty and, oh, it's about dried out actually. But I was like, it might be okay enough to hold this in place. So put it on there. I actually decided to kind of just go on there on its own. Give it like a second and then pop it on. I don't know, it's like a pretty little accent. All right, so that's what it looks like. The hardest part of doing that is getting them even, and I just decided that's as even as they're going to be, is what it is. I'm going to use the Tower 28 Lip Liner in the shade Fill Me In. I really like this formula. I just wish the color would stay more, like, cool neutral on me. It tends to, like, warm up a little bit. Then I'm gonna use like one of my favorite lippies. It's just really comfortable, will be easy to apply, like reapply. And it's the NARS, this is a soft matte lip balm in the shade Unrestricted. I really like this shade because it stays a more cool tone pink on me. Which I prefer. This is the finished look. I think it looks really pretty. It was nice to just sit down and like play with makeup and try some new things. I, like I mentioned, have really been loving this palette from Ace Beauté and I'll have some other looks over on IG. I haven't played with the warm brown shades yet, which I'm assuming you could create probably like a really beautiful smoky eye like with these tones here. But since it's February, I really wanted to just dabble on the pinks and the purples and the red, something a little bit different from my everyday. But yeah, really like how this came out. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.